Hey everybody, welcome to the shop. Today I'm going to be working on a custom window valance. Um, I got this order from a customer of mine. I got this really nice rustic home and she's looking for a custom valance for one of her large windows. As you can see, we've got this long piece of walnut. You guys can't even see it from end to end. This thing is huge and the window this is going to go over is really big. So this is going to be a really fun project. I hope you guys will join me to the end. I've got a few pieces here on the bench already. Um, if you missed what I said a few minutes ago, this is black walnut. This is some really beautiful stuff. Now, I've already taken this live edge piece of walnut and trimmed off one side. So I've got a nice flat back here. This is going to meet up to the wall for the window valance. We've got this live edge in the front. Now, when I say live edge, live edge is the edge where the bark is. Now you can either have it with the bark on or the bark off. In this case, the customer wants to have the bark removed. So at this point, I'm gonna have to take the walnut outside, bust out my grinders and sanders and whatnot and remove all the bark from this piece. When we come back in, we'll start to work on attaching it to the skirting for the valence. And we'll work on cutting some sticks to start really dressing it up and tricking it out. Just doing a quick mock up on this valence I'm working on. So you guys can see here, live edge walnut, gonna be sitting on top of that box. Gonna be doing a whole mess of stick work. So I realized I didn't show you guys how I attached the skirting to the bottom of the valance here. And as you can see, they're just pocket holes. Used a Craig jig, drill bit, drilled them out, and Craig screws and just attached it from the bottom on the inside. That way there nothing will be visible once it's done. And as you can see down the front, no hardware either. Here's a great time to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell so you can be alerted when new videos are uploaded. I just wanted to give you guys a little brief history on this design here that I'm building with the black walnut for the top and the beaver chewed sticks that'll be hanging down. Um, the beginning of 2018, I built a table for the Saratoga Northeastern Woodworkers Show. Um, I took first place in professional excellence with that table. Um, pretty proud of that that was pretty exciting for me um, there is a link popping up here and I don't know one of these corners you guys could follow that though and see more on that table build there is a lot of stick work lots of work sanding and getting that top to just be perfect and just the whole design there there really was many hours into it be sure to check that out give it a thumbs up so the customer came to that show saw that table and she said I love it, but I don't have the space. Instead, I need a window valance. Can you create a window valance that's similar to that table? Well, after we discussed, you know, dimensions and size and all that, I said, well, why not? You know, why why can't we do that? I mean, it's it's a lot of the same concept, and there's really no reason not to. So after our conversation with that, it took, you know, a few months to be able to work this order in with carving orders and some other furniture things I was working on um, till now where I finally got it on the bench here and I'm able to get this thing going. The overall length is 92 inches long. That's end to end on the walnut. Now the inside of the box here is right around 90 inches so it'll fit right over the blinds that'll be hanging down. 
because that's the whole point this will cover where the blinds come all the way up the the theme well the idea behind those sticks and the idea of there you're not being able to see any hardware for me is to really just keep this as natural looking as possible you know keep the wood looking natural there will be no stain on this there will be a clear coat finish whether it's satin or gloss just to uh, help with dusting and, and keeping things fresh so I love these sort of projects though because there's so much natural beauty in wood without staining it without altering it without carving it sometimes it just it's beautiful all by itself I mean here's a great example bring you guys in really close here check out this stick don't mind all the crap in the background except for me to be that rigid drill those those work really great link in the description for that for the glue for the Craig jigs and the screws check out my Amazon links you guys can purchase all that stuff through there helping support this channel back to this stick though right here see all these marks none of this is carved by me this is all carved by beavers I mean I'm pretty lucky in the fact that I've got a friend who has some property and they're not so lucky to have beavers that just kind of destroy it so every now and then I'm able to go and get some sticks when uh, you know the time comes to get rid of these destructive beavers um, but man the the natural look to me is just just beautiful there's also some natural chewings down here in the stick as well they're a little harder to see on camera but when you see it in person you can actually see the bite marks that's really that's really it uh, I just kinda wanted to share that with you guys give you an opportunity to hit subscribe give this video a thumbs up I've gotta get back to work though I've got I don't know hundreds of sticks to cut to fill in all this area and maybe a little bit of a design in here as well so I gotta get back to making some sawdust make sure you guys stick around well, I got one end of the valance here done with the stick work gotta keep don't going uh, down the front here and finish up the far end still it's a good start though I just wanted to say real quick how much I like this six inch rigid sander I'm using here. There'll be a link popping up in the corner of the screen. If you guys want to see the unboxing of that, see what it's all about, be sure to go there, check that video out, and give it a thumbs up. Thanks. All right, so don't mind the messy shop, but here is a look at the valence, a little bit closer look. Just got some polyurethane on this whole thing, so time to let it dry so I can come back and do a second coat later. Well, I really, really enjoyed this project. I hope you guys have as well. In just a few seconds, we'll be uh, jumping to some high speed installation videos of this. Uh, this is going in a beautiful log home and it's just gonna be a beautiful focal point in a room. So, hope you guys will stick around for that. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. And man, just look at that walnut. Walnut has such beautiful grain with all the different colors that are actually in just one board. It's just, just beautiful. You got some flame here by that knot, curliness or flame. Ah, this is some of my favorite stuff right here to work with. All right, we'll see you guys in a few.
Well, here we are, uh, getting ready and setting up for the installation of this valance in the customer's home. I got my dad here giving me a hand, and it was just really was a great day to have him tagging along, helping me out. It's really fun to uh, do projects together and you know install them together and things like that. As you guys can see, a lot of time went into creating this valance. Um, just all that stick work, cutting and sanding and just getting everything fit into place. There really were several hours going into this piece. Had about an hour worth of install time as well. So I mean, it was it was a full project start to finish to, uh, to create that, but it was a lot of fun. Those are the things I really love to do uh, alongside chainsaw carving, but those are the kind of projects I really love to do for customers as well. Um, real quick, I just want to give a shout out to my dad. Thanks for all your help in this video, dad. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It really was a, a big hand having someone else there to help hold and put things in place. And it just, that's always a huge help. So thanks, dad. Appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. After you hit subscribe, be sure to hit the little bell that pops up so you can be notified to any and new videos that I upload. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.